hey guys welcome to the channel and thank you for watching manchester united against the chelsea football club at old trafford this thursday yeah the game is gonna be in the middle of the week put your notification on because we're gonna be live on gfc youtube channel or soccer iq youtube channel so this game means really nothing you know is it another dead rubber kind of uh, game is about the pride for chelsea football club but it means something for manchester united because they have to qualify for the champions league next season they need only a draw so let's go there and give everything even though i've been saying this over and over this season show some pride show some energy show this and that it's just not happening and we can't beat manchester united i don't know when was the last time that we beat them at Stamford bridge or away we just don't beat them fa cup carabao cup premier league we just can't beat them so i don't know what's gonna happen and now that we have like nine or ten injuries that is another excuse right there but even when we have everybody fit and ready they always find a, a way to get a draw or to win a game against chelsea football club it's gonna be the referee it's gonna be a dodgy penalty something is gonna happen or another golasso from marcus rashford you know top being top corner it's always something we can't beat them anyways my people so this video is about head to head between manchester united and chelsea it's not like a, a proper preview i'm not gonna give my lineup i'm not gonna be give anything but i just wanted to show you in this video how we've been uh <clears throat> i wanted to show you the last uh, few results between manchester united and chelsea football club to give you an idea that this is not a new thing for chelsea it's becoming a chelsea thing manchester united are becoming a boogie team for us and we have to be very careful i don't know let's let me just show you so in the last uh, few meetings Oh my goodness, we we cancelled at each other anyways, <laughs> pretty much in the last five meetings, as you can tell. Let me start by the bottom one, right? Man United Chelsea 0-0, zero, zero. that was uh, October 2020. Chelsea against Manchester United 0-0, zero, zero. that was February 2021. Chelsea 1, Manchester United 1. That was in November 2021. Manchester United won. Chelsea won. That was April 2022. And the last game that we played against them was at Stamford Bridge. October 2022. Chelsea won. Manchester United won. <laughs> but if you go to other competitions here, you see that few times they beat us. You know, I don't even remember the last time we beat them. So this is only for the Premier League, but other competitions, they knocked us out of the competition. You know what I mean? So. Anyways, people, let's go to form guide. Okay, that, that, uh, uh, that shows how we've been doing as as a team individually you know if you go to manchester united here three wins two losses chelsea only one win three losses and one draw so the form between the two teams you can see clearly here that they are better they won three we won only one in the last uh, five games 
We lost uh, we lost three. Only won once against Bournemouth away and drew at home against Nottingham Forest. So we are so poor, my friend. Let uh, not kid ourselves this season. I can't wait until the end because this is so depressing. It doesn't look like uh, like Chelsea, to be honest with you. So let's go. The season so far, look at us. Manchester United are fourth, Chelsea 12. The first time in a long time that we finish in the in the bottom 10. Okay? Oh my goodness. I don't want to go to all the details here because I will be really, really depressed on this one. <laughs> Chelsea. Anyways, my people. Let me now go to the last game that we played them at Stamford Bridge so we can we can see more details from that game. Remember Casemiro? He scored the last minute, the last second of the game. A header, Kepa Arisabalaga touched it with his tinga, uh, fingertips and then it went at the back of the net. And that's what I've been saying uh, uh about Kepa Risabalaga. He's a good goalkeeper on his day, but he's small. He's too small. Every time he always dives the right side, but always concede because he can't reach. That is not his fault. It's the nature. He can't grow anymore. So Chelsea, it's time for us to, to find a new goalkeeper because with Kepa, we're not going anywhere. So that day, you can see Kepa was in goal, Trevor Chaloba, Thiago Silva, Kukurea, Jorginho Frelo was still a Chelsea player back then, Ben Shewell, uh, Ruben Loftuchik, Cesar Aspilicueta, and in front we had Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, Raheem Sterling, and Manson Mount. Mm. Yeah. The goal came from Jorginho. Of course, it's a penalty. It was a 87th minute. We were celebrating already. Yes, Jorginho, Jorginho. Yeah, we saw already three points in the pocket, but <laughs> we forgot that uh, Casemiro was there to do the damage the last minute. Look, show, cross, bam, header from Casemiro, 1-1, one, one, and it was 90 minutes plus four. Wow, heartbreaking that day, man. And it was just like a win for Manchester United, remember? Let's now see <laughs> some details about the statistics from that day. Chelsea had almost 48%, so Manchester United had all the position. Not all, but almost equal. Shot on target, Chelsea had two, United had six. Surprise, Chelsea don't shoot on, don't shoot on target. Shot all together, this is embarrassing. All the shot combined, Chelsea only had six, United had 13. This is a, a very Chelsea thing. Listen, people, get ready for my proper preview because I'm gonna have to. To give my lineup and my predictions in a, in another video because this video is gonna be too long uh stay tuned and join us on soccer iq youtube channel or gfc global fan channel uh for live streams watch alongs all the good stuff always call in shows you know you call us on free you just click on the link and then you join us uh i think um yeah, you, you let me know what you think about this game, who's going to win, but I'm going to give you my predictions only in the next, uh, the next video. <laughs>